Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I went crazy with my planter box garden. They were so easy and cheap, and I think they look great. The problem, of course, was watering all this when I'm not home. Well, that problem has been solved. I used a 12 volt bilge pump from Harbor Freight and a power supply for LED lights to power it. So a bilge pump hose and PVC from Home Depot, an Arduino, and a dozen or so screws to rig up this automatic watering system. The pipe is a one inch DWV pipe. It's less than $2 each. It's the cheapest pipe they had at Home Depot. I set it on three inch screws and angled it down a couple of degrees. I drilled one 32nd inch holes above each of the plants so only the plant would get water. Now I did have to enlarge a few of the holes to a 16th based on some testing that I did. All the holes in the corn section though are a 16th. I also had to add two ball valves to control the water because the bottom boxes were getting too much and everything else wasn't getting enough. This valve downstream of the corn ensures that the corn section builds up enough pressure for the pipes to shoot out far enough to the third row of corn. This valve at the end of the line ensures that the lower boxes get enough to drink. By varying these valves and a couple of the holes, I was able to get the amount of water right where I need it. The Arduino is currently programmed to fire the relay for 20 seconds three times during the day. I'm using my recycling bin as my reservoir for now because I don't want to risk water damage from a faucet failure with a water timer. This uses about two gallons in that 20 seconds and returns what isn't used to the reservoir. So I have over a week's worth of water fertilizer available in the recycling bin. Now this current system is dumb. It waters three times a day for 20 seconds regardless. I'm going to add moisture and temperature sensing to the equation soon though because it's silly to have it water when it's already rained or when it's not hot enough to dry out the soil. And overwatering is just bad. I've got nine boxes right now and everything is sprouting really nicely. I plan to paint the pipe and tweak the screw positions though because I don't want it to detract from the look of the boxes. I love making stuff and making stuff you can eat is even better. You can do this yourself, just don't be afraid to try. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.